Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name's Leah, um, which is obvious because my channel's called The Leah Way. Hi, that's me. Um, so I am um, a YouTuber that talks about planning and journaling and anything paper-based really, stationery, etc. Anyway, for 2024, um, I've got a number of planners. I've actually just purchased this one as well. Um, it's the Hon 2024 Hobonichi. It's the same layout as the Cousin that I used last year, but it's more of a harder um, case. Anyway, I wanted to compare it while it's still fresh and it has nothing in to a cheap alternative that I found. Um, so this is the Anamio planner. This is the 2024 planner. It's a hardback book and um, it's very hard. Um, and I have seen this on Instagram. They comment on a lot of my pictures, actually. And it kind of looks similar. So I thought I would open it, take you through it. This cost um, £11 and this is around 55 So there's a big reduction. This is, you know, this is five times the amount of this. Obviously, within Hobonichi, you have the Tomoe River paper. Paper. I don't know what the paper in this is like. I've not opened it whatsoever. So let's take a trip through and see if we can compare them. Okay, so I'm going to just open this one. This one's already open. I'm just going to open it and let's have a little... Oh, let me do something sharp. There we go. Don't try this at home, kids. Um, so I believe that Anami are a... Um, is it Inam Inamio? I believe they are potentially a Chinese-based company. Yeah, made in China. And they sell their planners on Amazon. And um, if that's somewhere that you shop, um, then it might be worth looking. So it comes with this lovely black soft pleather um, cover. Okay, that was lovely. It's that sort of matte finish that is going to get dirty quite easily, I think. Um, so you have a little embossing of their logo and then you've got 20, 24 embossed at the top. So let's open it up. So first of all, it's like a creamy coloured paper. It's not pure white. Um, it says thanks and they've given us a 10% off. So maybe you'll use that. It says use the coupon code below for an Anamio planner on Amazon SP242BUK get 10% off it says give this card to friends or family and you guys are my friends I'm sure well that's weird you're not my friends you don't know me um but still it says thanks for using oh thanks for using our for being our customer and then it says to activate a free lifetime warranty simply send us a message what on the, on the planner <gasps> that's special interesting okay so let's open the pages Pages look quite thin, maybe 100 GSM. So we have the opening page. Let's just compare the colour of the pages, actually, while we're here. So, oh, that's whiter. So this is a creamy colour. If you don't like a creamy colour, you might not like this planner. So firstly, we have personal information, and then we have the 2023, 2024 and 2025 calendars. So let's have a look at what we have in here. Now, of course, that is colourful, um, but I think we start in the same way. We do. So we have 2024, 2023 and 2025. Interesting, they've put 23 here, 24 there and 25 there. Um, so and they're all equal sizes. So that's an interesting start, but we do start with that calendar. I'm sure this is, you can see through it. Oh, and then we have <laughs> the annual calendar. And what they've done, I actually quite like the colour. So this is the green weekends. And let's have a look what this has in it next. So we go from there and we go into, oh, Okay, so we've got this one, which is like the tracker calendar, but you could do that there. I have a feeling you have that here anyway, to the next page. Oh, no. Hold on a minute, what? So that goes straight into here. Okay, so you have got a similar, like a tracker, so you could track things there. 
have your annual calendar for 2024 all the way to just January to December. And then, oh, <laughs> then we have the monthlies, which is, again, in a similar layout to the Hobonichi. Let's have a look. It's quite, that is similar, isn't it? It's even, it's very similar text. Hmm. So let's me let's do some measurements, shall we? While we're here. Okay. So we've got Hobonichi boxes are thirty-three millilitres, millilitres, millimetres along, and these boxes are thirty-two. So there's one more difference in the box, which means that the kits probably won't work. And then that is also 32. Let me just open that back up. Is it 33? Did I get that right? I feel like I got that right. Yeah, it's 33. So that's a difference. And then we go into, oh, so it's months, months, similar. So it's all months. Lovely. To 24. I think this goes up to. Where does it go up to? December, January. Here we go. Interesting. Okay, so this is 24 hour clock. So this is slightly different. If you wanted 24 hours though, that's quite good. How nice is that layout? That's really nice. That's really nice. I just want to check. So the size of the um these columns is 30 it's about 31 and a half mils and the size of this is 31 and a half mils so these columns are quite narrow and then we have our week so it's the same layout in in the sense that it's vertical um and you've got your months first Let's go up to here. So this is, I can already tell they're wider, look, by a few mils. So I think these are, again, 33. Yeah, they are. So they are 30, well, they're 33 and a half. No, they're not 33 on the dot. So these are 31 and a half. So they're quite a bit, they're a mil and a half narrower. But that is, I love this. So you've got 0 to 6, you've got quite, together because I mean that could be sleeping time um, and then it goes all the way up to 24 hours but then you've also got a space at the bottom oh, I quite like that actually that's really nice and you've got your calendar here this is pretty the paper seems quite porous I'm going to do a pen test I think with um, with some bits and bobs so what do we have at the back so it's all weekly and then we go into was well, it all weekly no, then we've got another tracker. Oh, for 2025. Is that what we get to here? Okay, okay, okay. So if you like a weekly week to view, this is mainly weeks. Oh, I love that. That's really nice. And you get some pages, just grid. It's just note pages. It hasn't got numbers. It's not a daily page, but you don't get many. How many do you get? Oh, and you get one with a big mark on the back which is the logo so you get two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty two thirty four thirty six thirty eight forty so there's about thirty eight to forty pages because I don't quite count them um you do get two bookmarks in this but I don't think you do yeah you do same same sort of but these these bookmarks are rubbish. I hate these. I cut them out of all of them. That was quite rubbish. So shall we do a pen test? Shall we do a pen test? Now we know the Tomoe River paper works well with different pens. But we don't know what this paper's like at all to write with. So I've got a uni jet stream here. Um, so. Oh, that writes nicely, doesn't it? I'm going to put it down here so you can see it. So, uni ball 
these boxes seem wider. They seem wider. They're not though, I don't think. But they seem wider. So that's Uniball Jet Stream. Um, let's have a look and see what a Tombow Food and Suitcase pen looks like. So. That wrote really nicely, actually. I was quite surprised by that. We'll do see if it goes through or anything on that in a moment. Um, I'm going to use a brush pen because I do use these. So this is the Sailor Shikiori. And then... This writes really nice, this paper. I'll see if there's any, like, horrendous ghosting. Um, let's try mild liner, shall we? See what they do on this paper. So let's try a mild liner. They show up better. On the um, Tomei River paper, they're much lighter. Um, and then we must... We must, we must try out a fountain pen. That's going to be the one, isn't it? It's the Jinhao one. I love the colour of this. Love it. Oh, I love it. That writes really smooth. I'm actually in shock, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, let me just try another pen. I'll try one of these gel pens. See what we're doing with this. So this is just a, a dupe of the... It's just a gel pen. Hmm. And then finally, my favourite, which is the Uniball one. Let's see if I can find one. The one that I use the most in my on my Tomoe River paper. So this is the Uniball one 0.38 nib. It's a lot thinner. Oh wow! Do you know what? Let's have a look at what it looks like on the other side. Oh my gosh! Okay, so there's ghosting. Barely. I'm honestly, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm. Just, I'm a bit. Okay, I have another pen test that I'm going to do. I have a. What colour are you? Okay. So these are the acrylograph. So they are water based. Oh, not this one, because I haven't pumped it. Let's find one that's actually been used. Uh, this one, maybe. Have you been pumped? Yeah. So these are the Archer and Oliver Acrylograph, which are essentially the same as a... What's the pen called? It's like a, a pen that will write on anything, so... Is there bleeding there? No, I can't see any bleeding, it's just a thick pen. Barely. I'm actually in shock. Oh, <laughs> it hasn't quite dried, look, it's on there. Oh, this is just a test, this is just a test. It's just a test one. Okay, so interestingly, we've got quite small boxes. I want to try out, do I have any here? I want to try out the boxes from here. I just want to see what they are. So there are kits. So what's the width of this kit? Because this is the kit from Crafty Planning Co. Let's just get the ruler on there. That would fit. So Crafty Planning Co. Co do some for the Wonderland 222A6 planner. They would fit this planner. 
they'd fit it perfectly in fact. So if you're wanting some kits that's going to fit. Wow okay 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 I am quite impressed if I'm honest. I'm quite impressed. I love how clear everything is on the pages like you would have no doubt there. I, I love these. It has got a similar feel because it's got the timed days and it's vertical. But, you know, planners are planners. And this is quite similar. This, it's similar, but it's not the same. I think people would love this. This is so budget friendly, you know. £11 of 10% off. That is... I'm actually really shocked. Okay. If you're looking for an alternative, if you like the weekly spreads but don't want dailies, if you want just some note pages in the back, if you want monthlies, if if the, you're looking for something that you want to schedule for work and you don't want to spend a lot of money or you're looking to maybe go into a Hobonichi but you don't want to spend that £55, don't get me wrong, this is stunning. Like The feel of it is absolutely so nice. But it's a lot to invest in if you haven't used it before or if you don't think it's going to work. You might be new to vertical planning. You might find that really daunting. This is a really good alternative. Now, I'm not being sponsored at all. I bought this off my own back. Um, I think that Inamio are trying to get their name out there. I've not seen many reviews at all on this planner. And I thought I would bring you something. So I'm interested to know what you think. Um, if you have uh, any thoughts or if you want to add something, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below with any other things that you want to add, like I said. And if you're intrigued by this planner, let me know. I'd love to know if you've actually had this planner. It is lovely. It's actually really lovely. I'm, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Please let me know what you think. I, I actually want to know your real thoughts, honest or, or not. It isn't a dupe. It's not a like for like. But you do have the weeklies, which I think I use quite a lot. I would happily move into this. I'm... I am quite impressed. Anyway... Um, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe, please do. It really makes my day. I hope you're having a good day and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.